in high school, I you know did a lot of uh, a lot of uh, orchestra. I was a percussionist, played in something called the Young Salem Symphony, and uh, studied privately and took theory and all that stuff. And I went on to school and you know university, and I studied uh, music some, you know, until it became obvious to me that I couldn't afford to be in school anymore, and I was playing so many gigs that um, that I didn't have time. I did clinics because Paul Schaefer did one, and uh, when I was in uh, at University of Miami uh, in 1947, um, he came through and did this master class thing, and it was very, very inspiring because uh, back in my day, uh, we didn't think about um, the professional end of it. It was more, you know, music school was not exactly. Um, Practical. It was great. I mean, I'm really. I think you need to have the, all the basics, and then more, and then more technique as much as you can stand. But there was never any talk about what you might do with it besides teach when you come out. So it was really inspiring to see uh, Paul Schaefer. He was a great musician. He was also a total ham. He was funny and he was interesting and he thought outside of uh, what we later come to call the proverbial box. And uh, I thought he was great. So so I do that because I realized how much. That gives back. I, I kind of go with the old uh, moniker that VH1 abandoned music first because everything else changes and being solid in, in, in what you do uh, musically um, is not something that you really have time to do once you get out later. I won't call it the real world, you're in the real world now, but you know what I mean. Um, and you need to cram all that you can, understanding that the more you learn, as it's sinking in, it makes you suck. You you play like a goober. But once it sinks in and it becomes part of your cell structure, then it's really important to have that as as part of your palate. And forgetting what things are called, forgetting that they exist, but it's just part of you, is a real important part of the journey. But it can't happen unless you hit the books, memorize the stuff, learn it however you got to learn it beat it in your head, learn as much history as you can. People don't, people don't know what came before the Beatles anymore. You know, it's, it's, you, you need, to, need to do that now because there's certainly nothing that's gonna cause that to happen later on. So that's, you know, my advice would just be everything about music first. People talk about um, the digital era and how much that has, has that affected music? And I, no, I don't think so. I think it's affected the way we distribute music. And it's affected a couple things about the process, but music remains, and um, and that's what we need to work on.